Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle Glendon. So today I'm really excited about this video. It's a bit ridiculous, but I'm excited to let you know that um, for December we will be doing Vlogmas, which if you don't know, if you're not in the YouTube world, that means that we'll be doing a video every single day from the 1st of December to the 25th of December or as close to as possible. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. But the reason being is that Rolly and I tend to be sort of scroogey when it comes to Christmas. Like we've never really decorated. I don't even think we have a Christmas tree. Well, we don't have a Christmas tree. Um, I can't remember the last time I put one up. I know I have done one at least once with Rolly, but in general, we tend to travel for Christmas. We usually go to my family or Rolly's family, or we um, have spent a couple of Christmas overseas or at least one Christmas overseas. Um, so it's not really like, we don't really go to too much effort at home, but um, about, I would say about six weeks ago, we went into, I had Max with me and I went to the shops. I wanted to go and get him some new books mm -hmm. and he found this book. I don't know why it was already on the shelves because it was six weeks ago. So it was like, you know, early Oct October, I guess. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, so it's called The Night Before Christmas. It's this book and it's got Sandra on the cover and then it's got all these noises. And as you read through the book, it's quite, a, it is actually quite a lovely book. And if you go through and each page has like the little icon, where's this one? Oh, so like this is the, the icon. So he knows to, like, he's got to find the bell button. And... Like it's quite sweet. Anyway, he became totally obsessed with this book. So to the point where this is the second one, I had to buy another a copy because he loves it so much um, that, and because he was like reading it himself and pressing all the buttons and everything. Um, and this, um, if you can see, like it's not great quality. This bit got squashed and then like all the pages fell out and he was pretty devastated. So um, I had to buy another copy for him. Anyway, because he now, he now knows who Santa is, um, he points Santa out at the shops, like, or like on TV if it's on or like whatever. Like if he sees the Santa image, he points at it and says, Mummy Santa. And he loves this book. He loves like the song on here. He dances to that when it plays. And when I sang him the words, he was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. So, um, where were we? And we watched Arthur Christmas. Can't remember. We might have just been at home. Anyway, we've had a few things on. Oh, also, there's an episode of Paw Patrol um, about uh, the Paw Patrol save Christmas or something, which he's seen a few times now. It's just been on the TV. So he's become quite interested in this whole concept of Santa and Christmas. And to be honest with you, it has really reignited um, something in me that was like, okay, I want to do Christmas. Like, I want to make it really special for you. Not that I want to like overload him with presents because that's what exactly what Rolly and I feel really strongly about. I want him to learn about Christmas from the perspective of more than just the present. So it's more about spending quality time, you know, singing the Christmas carols and all of that stuff that I'd kind of written off. <laughs> I think I can hear school kids coming down the hill. What time is it? It's only 2.30. Um, yeah, so I want him to also, um, Rolly and I have talked a lot about ways that we can donate, not only like, Christmas gifts or um, I'm just going to shut that door because I think there's lots of school kids coming down the hill. <laughs> yeah, so we want him to understand the idea of like going through your toys and like donating the ones that you don't no longer play with for um, less fortunate kids, but even going further than that and like finding ways to volunteer at Christmas time um, and, and that sort of thing. So all of that is part of the Christmas magic spirit, I think, for me. Um, so that's what we want to do. Anyway, so I'm really excited. <laughs> so I went to the shops today to just get a few little bits um, organized um, for it, uh, for Christmas. We haven't got a tree yet. And I think one of those, one of the videos that we do will be us getting a tree and putting it up. I know you're supposed to put your Christmas tree up on the 1st of December, but it'll probably be closer to like 5th. Um, we want to hopefully get a real tree as well. Um, so if you're in Brisbane and you know where to get the best real trees, please let me know in the comments below because um, I really do want to get a real Christmas tree. Um, and so the first video will be, um, there's this thing that people do called a Christmas Eve box. And so 
um, somebody, and I think it was, I want to say it was this mum at home. Um, I'll leave her channel down below. I'm pretty sure she said that she now does her Christmas Eve box on the 1st of December, which um, Christmas Eve boxes usually got like um, some Christmas pajamas, a Christmas treat, um, a Christmas movie, um, and a little present or something like that in there for each of the kids. Um, and that's what you, you open that on Christmas Eve and then um, you wear the pajamas, you watch the movie together, you have a hot chocolate and everything and then you go to bed. But she was saying she's doing the Christmas Eve box where you open it on the 1st of December and in there is things like a Christmas plate and cup, um, your Christmas pajamas and then you get to wear and use all of those things for the whole month of December rather than just that one kind of night and then Christmas is over so it sort of enhances the magic and so I have got a Christmas box organized for Max and in it I also have an elf on the shelf I'm so excited because one thing that I've always thought I would really like to do is the elf on the shelf um, so I'm going to do that for Max this year and so the Christmas box is going to be delivered to Max and Honey because I've got a few things for Honey as well um, on the 1st of December I'm not sure whether it'll be when he wakes up I have to check the day whether um, he'll be at daycare and whether he gets home and it's there but the elf on the shelf is going to deliver the Christmas box and then he's going to have a little letter in there saying that you know like I'll be watching you and everything and whatever I have I don't really know much about the elf on the shelf other than you, the kids find it every day so I'll do a bit of research anyway so that is going to be our first Christmas video um, so if you want to stay up, if you want to join in on Vlogmas, um, and I'll also hopefully share a lot of this stuff on Instagram as well, um, please subscribe and please join me in, I don't know, reigniting the Christmas spirit for us Glendons who do tend to be on the Scroogey side. I'm really excited to get Rolly more involved in the idea of Christmas. Um, and the magic of it, it's like going past the consumerism of it and making it into some really special magical time of year for us to spend time together as a family. And we are going away over Christmas, so that'll be nice as well. Um, so to make it into like a really special celebration kind of time of year, um, which for some reason we've kind of lost that that's what it's about. And I guess that's because well up until this point we didn't have kids that so kind of like seeing it through max's eyes um well for me anyway and i'm sure as well rolly um how yeah you know what i mean anyway um so all because of this bloody five dollar book now me now we're getting into christmas the christmas spirit so and <laughs> anyway so i when i went to the shops today <laughs> I um, thought I'll just get a few bits for the Christmas box. Anyway, I accidentally got heaps of d different decorations and I got this cushion. This one, have yourself a Merry Christmas. And I got, um, have, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And I got a reindeer one on the other couch. And um, yeah, I was nearly gonna buy like a tablecloth and all these things. So <laughs> anyway, um, I think this could get a bit like over the top. But I'm also really mindful of not just buying. Anyway, no, you know what I mean. Okay, so I um, would absolutely love you to join the Vlogmas journey with us. There are lots of other Australian vlogging mums um, doing Vlogmas as well. So um, on that first video, on the 1st of December, I will post down a list of links to all the other mums doing Vlogmas if you want to get involved. Um, and watch all of their videos as well and see what they're up to for their lead up to Christmas and everything. Um, I, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe if you want to and put the little bell notification on so that you do get the updates of the videos. So thank you as always so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day um, to watch this video. <laughs> all right guys, see you later, bye.